G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a quick video on the new Texan PL368 little portable, tran uh, not transceiver, receiver um, and compare it against the older outgoing I wouldn't say outgoing but still currently available but the older PL365 which I've had for a few years now and enjoyed thoroughly great little receiver um, and in comparison with the new one you can see that they are the same size height, length, width, etc. But physically, the old one is noticeably heavier with the old AAA batteries and the newer one running the lithium ion rechargeable battery via the USB, micro USB port on the side. And that's the first thing I noticed actually when I opened it up, picked it up out of the box. Oh wow, this is lighter, it's the battery in, and yes it was, so it's significantly lighter. Um, what else can I say? The, this one's gone to bite as you can probably see the top of the antenna smashed the LCD smashed it got run over by a car three times front wheel back wheel and trailer because it was towing the trailer there you go still works but no display <laughs> um, anyway um, back to the new 368 speaker placement was in the mid the new ones down the bottom to make way for the most significant um, difference direct keypad entry which is really nice compared to the old thumb wheel and as of you who have the 365 know what I'm talking about now just punching your frequency way way easier so that's significant difference what else can we say oh i might as well show you what comes in the box what do you get in the box you get oh, there we go. earbuds usb charging cable the little pouch and the medium wave antenna and useless i want to say useless unless you're fluent in chinese the whole manual is all in chinese but i did get this from china Anyway, it's enough of the unboxing. Oh, I can use the stand. I did get this from China, so hopefully when they're available here in Australia, which I do want to get another one, I'll get an English version manual. So all these differences and, and things that I'll show you today is just through experience and what I've worked out so far. Um, okay, so what are the other differences besides the physical stuff? Well, we talked about the weight. Um, it now has an ETM mode, which is, which is there on some of their larger receivers. Easy tuning mode. So what that does is you press and hold it for two seconds and activates the easy tuning and it goes through the AM broadcast bands from 120 meters and up and it picks the stronger signals and it stores them in memory. So then you just thumb wheel down the side, go to the memory allocation and it's already tuned for you. You don't have to sit there and, and um, you know, searching for stations. So that's nice. It's still got the ATS, which was there on the older one as well. But that's, that, that's a little bit different in the sense that that's auto tuning storage. So you press and activate that and it stores the strong signals only for the band that you're on. Uh, whereas the ETM does the whole broadcast bands. So that's the difference. What else we've got? Um, we've got synchronous mode. So when you're in AM, you press and hold the synchronous mode. And what that does is it does its best to minimize the fading. When you listen to an AM broadcast station, how it may be fading in and fading out. Well, what that does is it strips the carrier out, inserts its own carrier, um, and it does its best to minimize that fading. And it does actually work. I will give a, a nice demo on that. I'll do a video uh, to show how that actually works on this particular model. What else do we have? The BFO button is missing. It used to be a BFO button here now, where the step button is. Um, it's still got the BFO. Actually, I'll show you. I'll turn it on, because it's related to the step button anyway. Um, well, when you press the step, you see a little triangle appears above the, the zero. So now I want to turn my dial. There's your BFO. But the beauty is, is when you're inside band and you're adjusting the BFO and you store it, it also stores that BFO frequency down to 10 hertz in that memory as well, whereas the old one didn't. So you've got that storage feature there, which is nice. And if you press the step button, you'll see the triangle a, a bit, uh, appeared above the zero. So now you can tune it one kilohertz steps, press and hold the step button, or just press the step button, now it flashes, which means you're now tuning in five steps. And if you press and hold the up or down arrow here, it actually does an auto tune. And it will lock onto, there we go, just found a signal and it locks onto it. So that's a new feature too. What else we got? We talked about, um, oh, the AGC recovery on sideband. That's, that's great, it's really good. Uh, the old one when you were listening, and it's very common in uh, these portable receivers the agc struggles to recover like really strong signals it's a bit harsh until that the agc kicks in and smooths it out where this is really really nice it's it's quick and you barely notice any overdrive and overdriving audio 
um, with this with this AGC recovery in this receiver. It's really really nice, and that's that's worthy of its own specific video, which I'll do, and I'll create a playlist as well. Uh, try to keep them all under five minutes. What else? What else? I think that's about it, really, uh, for this. Oh, if we could turn it off. Here we go. Here's something I noticed. Here we go. If you press and hold the this VFO memory button, and you look at the screen. Whoa, look at that. A micro SD card and a BT Bluetooth. Ooh, never know. Maybe a future, a future feature. But yeah, if you press and hold the, the VF, um, uh, what is it, VF and, and memory button, you get to test your display. What else is there? If you press and hold the, the delete button, it gives you the option to delete all, all the, the memories. And yeah, don't do that unless you want to delete your memories, of course. Uh, that's about it I've really noticed for now, so hopefully um, you enjoyed this video and, uh, and I look forward to posting some more videos anyway on the, the features that we just talked about um, in a separate playlist. Alright, 73 for now.